Also today, the solar eclipse making its rare appearance Monday. It will be viewable in the Tri-Cities area for the most part about 2 o'clock between 2 and 4 on Monday afternoon. You will get the best viewing in the path shown right there on your screen. Although the Tri-Cities area is not in the immediate viewing area for a blackout, there are still plenty of things to do uh, in this area. News Channel 11's Terry Craig has the story. Get your solar eclipse glasses ready because the solar eclipse is almost here and there's plenty of things to do around the Tri-Cities on the big day. It's not often that we get to see a solar eclipse. The Kingsport Public Library is using the event as a way to educate the community. The two solar telescopes um, that you can utilize to actually look at the sun. You can see sunspots, you can see some of the solar flares, things like that. The Tri-Cities will see about 80 to 85 percent of the eclipse. Southwest Virginia, a little higher at around 90 percent. But ETSU astronomy professor Dr. Gary Henson says anything that isn't 100 percent makes a night and day difference. So you won't see a dark sky, you won't see stars or planets pop out. Uh, but during the maximum part of that for about 10 minutes, you might notice it seemed like almost a cloud passed in front of the sun. Nonetheless, it's still a rare event that Henson says should be enjoyed. Well, you should still pay attention. It's a, a, an event of nature to see the moon blocking the sunlight. But a partial eclipse, uh, once you've seen a total eclipse, it's almost like why bother? It's clear that a solar eclipse will be happening. But without a clear sky, it could put a damper on the excitement. Well, some clouds uh, might be big cumulus clouds, so there's blue sky in between, that would be better. If it's a hazy sky or kind of overcast or layers of clouds, that's bad for everyone. Kingsport Library Assistant Manager Casey Applebaum is hoping for clear skies for this rare opportunity. So offering services such as free eclipse glasses, opportunities to utilize telescopes that we don't often get the chance to utilize and actually look at the surface of the sun is a just it's a really cool thing to see. Our area will see the eclipse the most at around 3 p.m. on Monday. Reporting here in Kingsport, Terry Craig, News Channel 11. And Monday, we'll have live coverage of the eclipse from Jonesboro. And you can send your pictures to Storm Team 11's email, pix at wjhl.com.